let's be honest with each other. This place has no respect in the league, just so you guys are all aware of that. This organization is 96 and 126, 30 games below 500. Turn your TV on. Nobody talks about the Houston Texans because no one thinks we're going to win. And the disrespect that they show our quarterbacks, I'm tired of that too. Because both those kids can play. They just need a chance, and one of them's going to get it. All right? Enough is enough. Every player that's out there, all 90 players, are players that I wanted for the 2015 season. When you guys show up to practice tomorrow, they better be ready to go. great performer means commanding the spotlight, taking the stage and knocking them dead. This past offseason, the Houston Texans signed a marquee free agent, Vince Wilfork, to help them take a star turn. It's pretty impressive to be around something so big, huh? He weighs 9,400 pounds. She's 19 years old. You know, I've never been that close to an elephant, and then those things are huge. So she gonna catch it? She gonna try and catch it, but well, we're not very good quarterbacks. We gotta try that out. Oh! All right, one more time. Right. Here we go, one more Tell time. Back. Yeah. It was just another thing that, as a family, is give us something to do. Yeah, nice, huh? You know, we knew to Houston, so it was a great experience for all of us. I've been around this team for about three months now, and we worked out together. Everything I've seen is everybody seems like they want to be great. 2014 AP Defensive Player of the Year is J.J. Watt. Texans defensive end J.J. Watt is an A-lister. On the field, he's a game changer. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. On camera, a scene stealer. so hard to get here you want to take a look around and realize how special it is um, but at the end of the day it all comes down to creating the best athlete I can you ready upstairs you ready to go or you need more time I only have so many years to play this game so I want to be as great as I possibly can be let's go drive it drive it come on the tire weighs a thousand pounds I flipped the tire for the first time, I think, two years ago. Just one flip. I mean, that's it was all I could do. Last offseason, I did it 30 times in one day. And then this offseason, I hit it 51 times. And at that point, I was like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to top that. That was a crazy day. And then two weeks ago, I hit 65. It's all just mental. You know, it's, it's those little things that you create that chip on your shoulder. And you create that vision in your head that nobody's gonna work harder than you, and then you go out there and you prove it. I didn't have a brother to compete with, but um, but Hillary, you know, she was she an was athletic girl, so me and Hillary um, 
you know, we did a lot of stuff, you know, as far as running around the house. He would even play football with me sometimes. I had to guard him. Or, like, yeah. he had to try to, like, defend me. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get around him yeah. in the malls, in, in the, the backyard, house. in the house. Hillary, defend me. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all know when the first open practice is? Well, are you talking yeah, about the open right. practices? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a Baltimore Ravens cheerleader. Cheered in high school, cheered in college, and then I was like, well, maybe I could go on to the next level, and I decided to go ahead and try out. Kevin Johnson is the Texans' first round draft pick. But all rookies are in the same boat when it comes to navigating the complexities of their first camp. It can be uber confusing. We're going to um, 8111 Kirby Drive. It's a um, Holiday Inn next to uh, NRG Stadium. OK. So now you play football? Yeah, I play, okay. uh, I play football. So I bet you're all excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Gearing up for a new season. Yeah. It's my first um, NFL training camp, so. Oh, OK. Yeah, I'm a rookie. Yeah, I'm probably. I'm probably just gonna live out of the suitcase, to be honest. Always hard leaving kith and kin behind. Harder still when your boss starts quizzing you about your work family. Texans head coach Bill O'Brien is relentless. Mumph, where you at, Mumph? You right there? Who, who is the COO, the chief operating officer of this organization? Uh-huh. Okay. Did you say Cal McNair? That's right. Now who who is who's Cal McNair's father, B Mac? Okay, and who who is Bob McNair? Uh, he owns the team. The what? He owns the team. He owns the team. That's right. So we're off to a good start. <sighs> we're off to a good start. I think all the rookies know each other pretty well. What we pretty much had a hard time learning was the rest of your teammates, the vets, and the guys that's been here. And I think Coach O'Brien's really big on that. And just getting to know the person that's next to you, not just lining up next to somebody you don't know. So, Kenny, who's this guy right here? Sleepy? <laughs> Stevie, how many years have you played in this league? Six years in the league. That would be Stevie Brown. Okay. Mumph, who's this guy right here? Okay, that would be Akeem Dent. How many years in the league, Akeem? Five years in the league. What's that? Yeah, Georgia guy, Coach. Georgia guy. Yeah, well, he's got a name. Like, I don't give a about Georgia. If you haven't figured out already, I don't give a about Georgia, LSU, Arkansas, Northeast Oklahoma. I care about people. This guy's Akeem Dent. Okay, he's a lot, he played a ton of football for us last year. Like, get to know your teammates, right? Three, Dev, yo, I'm gonna hook you up right now. As promised, I got tickets for you to go see J. Cole. This show is gonna be crazy. I can't wait. Plus, girl, if you thought your ex-boyfriend was bad, Lord have mercy. I gotta fill you in on this guy that broke into his ex's house. The story's crazy. Coming up five minutes with all new 93s from the beat. Here's future. Always serving up the the juiciest stories. <laughs> It's bring baby to work day. Lunch. Yes. Lunch, because I know. Thank you so much. I was working in here. so hard and so hungry. Darling. Mwah. Yo, I got to hit you with this exclusive. Dwayne Brown, Houston Texans, you are checking into training camp tonight. Yes, I am. <laughs> very exciting time. Training camp is a very exciting time for us all, and we have all the pieces needed to get where we want to go. But it doesn't just happen. We have to go out there, we have to work. We have to put in the time and get this thing going. All right, Dwayne, thank you so much for dropping by. I'll see you at home. Sounds Boo good. Thanks. Sounds good. <laughs> Coming up, more chances to win. Big ticket. All right, here we go. 
there's 90 guys in the room right now. Can we get 90 guys on the same page? I don't know. To me, I'm counting on the leaders to show the guys that haven't been here that long what is best for the team. You're in the NFL. Everybody's talented. It's more than that. It's about being the guy that your teammate can count on. It don't matter where you came from, how you were raised. One guy was raised in the suburbs. Another guy was raised in the inner city. One guy was raised by his mom. Another guy was raised by both parents. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters in that locker room is are you willing to help? Are you willing to help the team win? air conditioning in that. Man, it feels huh? like it. It feels like it. Keep it cool, man. It really does. Like the, the sun beaming on the back of everybody's neck right now. Come on. You know what I'm saying? That's the hottest part of me. I'm telling you, man. What are you? What are you? Arian Foster is one of the league's best running backs. He's been named to four Pro Bowls and won an NFL rushing title. One in doubt on that. Yeah, okay, Give it a false yeah, yeah. yep. Hey, girl. It don't matter, man. You ain't got the wheel. Them don't move fast enough. Them. No, your whole legs. This can't be exhausting. It's day one. Like, it's, it's the first day. Like, I mean, we can't, it's like, oh, it's just going to be brutal. He could be working. Imagine if you had to get up and work every day. Just tell him, then this ain't work. What your parents did was work. What your grandparents did was work. This ain't work. <laughs> quicker, quicker, Richard. Go again, Richard. You need a million of these reps. Here we go. There, thank you. Don't let me get to your body. One more strike. Don't drop your head. Do it again. Get out. Quiet. The f looking, right? Yeah. So where am I going to go? Yeah, I'm going to go that way. Wake the f up. Be mad. Get him over there. This guy right here, Rashard. Watch Quiet run. Watch Quiet run. That's going to be shown to the team pretty early in training camp. You know, this guy's working his ass off to be a good player. Special teams! This tackle, Rashard Clyde will be the first one down. Perry, who you got? Clyde's taken. Clyde's off the board. <laughs> right there. Owe me the money. <laughs> Pick him up. Come on, come on. Oh! Straight, bro. Straight, bro. Rashard, you okay? Good, baby. Who was that? 
Linebacker Richard Client has torn his ACL. His rookie season is over. We'll see, man, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you know, if Doc is right, um, you know, yeah. diagnosis, and we'll just see what the MRI and okay. just know that guys come back from this too, you know? Mm -hmm. they're, they're strong, they, they come back, you, you'll be back out there playing, you know? I know you just being drafted and yeah. being hopeful and having aspirations to be out there, I mean, you'll be good, okay? Yeah. You'll be back out there before you know it, just one day at a time, yeah. okay? Appreciate All right, buddy. I really like that kid. Yeah. He really helped our athleticism. Plus, he was smart. Right. In this day and age of ACLs, mm -hmm. guys come back from no, yeah. I told him about Welker and Brady. And yeah. So, he, so he's good for next yeah. year. No, I'd, I'd like him to be a Texan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe in 16. So, yeah. Right. I mean, uh, that guy's a pretty impressive kid. Yeah. Yeah. I got, you know, I'm working on that. I got to stick to the ones I'm good at, though, you know? Macho Man was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but garbage, guy, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you know what this is? This is yesterday's newspaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J.J. Watt, yeah, guess what? No one cares. Yeah. <laughs> Comparatively speaking, you are nothing but garbage. Yeah, I'm talking to you, big man. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, the Macho Man, greatest champion of all time. Yeah. Yeah, nothing is nothing, Gaina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting started. Yeah. <laughs> you might have the largest arms in the world, but these aren't chopped liver. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got laying on the ground. We got a, we got like a campfire circle here. The life of a specialist in the National Football League. Individual. Practicing in the Texas heat can make you queasy. Individual. Here we go. But bad news about your star running back will absolutely turn your stomach. What do you do? Tweet just grew up. Oh. Damn. All right. What? Tom Savage just said that he read that Arian has to get surgery on his groin. Are you serious? Let's talk about number one injuries, and specifically as it relates to Arian Foster. He injured his groin. Uh, we don't know the total significance of the injury for him, but he's definitely going to miss some time. Uh, the guy worked extremely hard this offseason to come back in fantastic shape, and he was having a good camp. And personally, I feel bad for him. But as it relates to our football team, I want you to listen very carefully. This is the National Football League. Injuries happen every day. And that's why you have a competitive roster. Because the next guy or guys have to stand up. And it could be a few guys. It probably will be with that running back position. But if you, if you read right now or you listen to ESPN, oh, why the are we, why are we even playing the games? Like that, okay? We're a competitive football team. We work our asses off. We're going to continue to do that. That's all that matters. Give me the rock. Get Jordan the rock. You said Jordan. The modern day Michael Jordan. Let's go. You can't come this far back. You can't come this far back. Oh, get off. I had two of them over here. What y'all doing? You can't double team. Man, you can't double team. You can't double team. Babe, I never thought I'd see today. You gonna get punked by them? Thank you. Duncan. Oh. What the hell is he doing? We haven't drained a shot yet. Has anybody made a shot? Time for the real MJ to take over. Michael Jordan, that is. Oh! oh. oh. Roll, 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 roll. Like that assist, boy, Vladi Divac. Here we go. Yeah. 
You don't want it. Oh! You don't want it. He's on fire. <laughs> they don't want it. I told you. He's on fire. Woo! Too late, baby. Oh, He's on Let's fire. Go. Let's go. Where is Dick Vitale? You don't want it. Oh. Oh. Too big. Big down here, big dog. Big down here now. We, we got to have it. In football, we call got to have it. Cover everybody, guys. Yeah. Oh! That's games. Man, I let y'all win, man. Joe machine over there? Let's get that. <laughs> How do you replace a star wideout? Oh, yeah, huh? Start with a good camp. The number one receiver slot is wide open thanks to Andre Johnson's departure. Number 10, DeAndre Hopkins, is making some splashy plays to take over the role. That was a great finish. That was a great finish, DeAndre. passes for you in offense, so you get open. <laughs> hey, you think you're that good, why don't you punt return? Because. Because of what? Did Jerry do it? Did because Jerry what? Time? About Jerry Rice, man. Are you number 80? You're number 10. I don't know if you notice, they like to throw the ball deep to hop. Play, boy. Great job. Hopkins is thriving on center stage. Today, the Texans' defense is not. They're wilting. Is it from the heat or the glare of the spotlight? Since OB got here, he's been trying to get me to jump offside. And I haven't jumped offside one time. Not one single time. He, he talks to me about it all the time. We're going to get you. We're going to get you. If he jumps, tag him. Yep, yep, yep. I want his ass running. Yeah! Yeah! Take your ass allowed. Take a allow. Take him. Good job, boys. Good job, boys. Good job. They're gonna cheer. They're gonna cheer when we mess up too, huh? It's gonna be a good year. Yeah, I think that's the only guy that can get away with that. I want everybody to listen and pay attention. That sucked. You can't stop to run. You can't rush the passer. You jump to short. I mean, you tell me about defense. You tell me. I was playing. And I'm telling you right now, we're going to get our ass beat. That's what's going to happen until we decide that we're going to play all the time. So I'm going to need somebody to step in and be able to pick the up. And we couldn't pick the up today. You couldn't do. Now you guys decide what you're going to do, what kind of team you want to have. 
You understand what I'm telling you? Yes, I hope you do. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it up. Take that personal. That's us he's talking about. We need to get it corrected. Because I don't know about you, but I don't feel like getting talked to like that. And I sure as hell don't feel like going out there and getting our asses kicked. And if we play the way that we did today, he's right. We will. Every day we got to get better. And it's this group together. Get with veterans, get together. Whatever we have to do, talk to each other and let's get this corrected. D on three. One, two, three, D. Sweaty, I'm sorry. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. There you go. Good smiles. Good. Thank you, sir. Appreciate y'all. Let me sign some. Let me sign Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who are you? JJ. JJ. I don't think one fan has left. You tried to sign every single autograph. The goal is 10 o'clock. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> Like Vince Wilfork, quarterbacks Brian Hoyer, number seven, and Ryan Mallett, number 15, began their careers as Patriots. Unlike in New England, here they are both in the running for the starting job. Ryan was an undrafted free agent in 09 that made the team, and Ryan was drafted in 2011. They know our system. It's a little bit different than what we did in New England, but the essentials of it are the same. Having studied under O'Brien, Belichick, and Brady, Hoyer learned how to think on his feet and about his feet. You know, again, this is another example, too, of Henny just running into the rush. I'm, like, stepping up immediately. Like, yeah. you watch Tom. Yeah. You watch Brady. He's like, boom, boom, boom. And they just run by, and then the guys are really stout inside, and he's like, you know, so that's why he only moves, like, three yards at the time. Yeah. Fancy footwork aside, so far, neither quarterback has a leg up on the starter's job. 
I cannot believe I threw that ball. What a stupid yeah. throw. <laughs> like, I mean. We cannot throw interceptions like that, guys, and we got to take care of that. We got to take care of that right now. Get that mentality. We're going to take care of the ball. That's everybody. Hoyer, Mal, can't do it. Reserve the right to punt. They're neck and neck uh, as far as the competition goes. One guy will start, one guy will back up. You can't have two quarterbacks out there at the same time, but both guys need to be prepared to play. All right, heads up here. We're headed up to Richmond, Virginia. You know, and I think it's a great opportunity for our team to come together, and it's our first test against another team. We got to start getting that mindset, okay, that we're going up against the Washington Redskins. Let's see how we measure up. The Texans have arrived in Richmond, Virginia for their practices against the Redskins. If only the quarterbacks could say the same about their jerseys, which are missing in action. The boy, they forgot their jerseys. Forgot the quarterback's jerseys. What did they just put them in a different bin? I don't know what they did. <laughs> There's some talk of playing shirts and skins, but in the end, the Texans quarterbacks opt to wear Redskin jerseys. I just got traded. Just got traded. Sorry, guys. What, like all this stuff here? Yeah, I'll get a kill. I'm, okay. I'm gonna get some suits. All right. Man, why they do you like that, man? Oh, man, that's bad. They got you down bad out here, baby. You look like you about to take flight. <laughs> Yep. So I see what you guys were saying about the quarterback jerseys. So they forgot y'all jerseys? Man, stop. <laughs> they just forgot about us, man. Well, I mean, you got the good Kurt Warner going, you know. Man. I told him, I was like, man, just go to the store, give me an Aryan jersey. I'll wear an Aryan jersey. <laughs> <laughs> we're kicking the guy out of practice if there's a fight. Yeah, you know, when, when I was in Denver, if it was like an all out, you know, Brawl, the guy was gone, but if it was just like they locked up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you agree with that? Yeah. I think the guy was hammered when he painted this line. You see this line, Vince? Look at that. This line's not even remotely close to straight. Living the high life, painting lines on the field. Not a lot of juice out here. No music. That's why we gotta bring the juice. We gotta bring the energy. Is this live? No, fun. Oh, come on! Show them what we got, boys. Show them what we got, boys. Look at JJ. Look at JJ. That's hard to block that man. It's hard to block that man. Holding. Come here, baby. Good start, Brian. JJ's up on this side. Here we go, JJ. He's a rookie. <laughs> He's a rookie. He doesn't count. Let's get it, yo. Hey. No, no, let's get it. <laughs> the Texans' first round draft choice, number 30, cornerback Kevin Johnson, looks like he's worth the pick. And his teammates have taken note. Sit down, Kevin. <laughs> right, Kevin. Come on. What? You have a great urgency. That's what I love about you. Yeah. <laughs>
fed up. But you yeah. have a lot of confidence. You know you can play, like you said. So does you can play. Yeah. I love it. Keep up the good work. You a rookie. You, you a Texan. Just keep doing everything you've been doing in our practices against them. Right. For sure. You're a good player. Keep working. I like it. I like your mentality. Thank you. Johnson isn't the only Texan tearing it up. DeAndre Hopkins is playing like a number one receiver. I win the route. I win the route. You do that to me, man. Ain't talk to me, boy. What's wrong with you, boy? I'm a grown ass man, dog. Just like you. Well, we can box. I feel God, homie. God. I feel God. I feel God, boy. I feel God, boy. I'm just like you. Tell these boys I feel God now. I'm gonna have the out of you too. Watch. Before somebody touching me after the play is over and talking about what they're going to do to me, Coach, that's not going hey, hey, it's not worth talking. I know. Okay? So let's come up here. Let's come up here. They're about to get you riled up. Already breaking ankles. And first they'll pass already breaking ankles on the route. 20, 20. Hey, I just finished it. I just finished it. I don't start nothing. There's probably 150 plays from that practice, both sides of the ball. There was a lot more good today than bad. A lot. This is John Grimes. This is what we're talking about Houston Texans football. Like, this is what we're looking for. This is what you guys as teammates should expect of each other. Look, this is Watt here, I get it, but this is the expectation. This is going to be a strip sack, plus he's holding them. This is only practice five. We're off to the right start here. But now we got to do it all the time. We got to keep building. We can't go backwards. Let's keep bringing some energy to this practice field. Let's bring it again and then some tomorrow. OK, let's come with some juice. I'm going to talk to Jay about maybe some music. I don't even know if they have speakers or anything like that. But maybe we can jack some, some music up, you know, some country, some Rick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> love Rick Ross, man. Oh, I feel like an actual football player with this jersey on. Thank God. <laughs> I felt like I was just going to play bad just because I looked bad. Here we go. Oh. Go, both guys, go, go. It's my fault, Blue. It just slipped out of my hand. The Texans are slip sliding their way to a sloppy day two. Uh, damn. It's like the first game of Pop Warner. They're going to come in and maul the out of you. It's welcome to the NFL. All right, so you guys set the edge? This is pro football. You stand straight up, you're soft. Throw a marshmallow at him next time. Softer. We're the nicest team I've ever seen, JD. So we're the nicest team I've ever seen. They're clotheslining our backs, and we let them run right through the defense. Come on, we got a wake up. What are we doing? Come on, guys, let's go. Back with the dress. Oh. Hey, that don't, but I don't like that though. We were just in full yesterday, but the day we got on shoulder pad, now you want to try to run somebody over? I don't like that. Look, I'm going to tell you what, we got one more day against these guys, and we're going to show up tomorrow ready to go in full pads. Ready to go. You were right there. Hey. 
Y'all heard the whole thing? Oh, yeah. No, they, no, they were getting, getting hyped. No, they were getting hyped because oh, I do the Ramey Hood. That running back tried me. Yeah, but that was all good, though. Man's up with him. Yeah, the guys, come on. Come on. Going back in the full pads. Oh, you come back? Yeah. Oh, I thought... We still need to be more competitive in a lot of situations. Left corner. Okay, Kev, right? That guy wants to run down and duck his head like that. Match competitive with competitive. But then when you see it tomorrow, now you know, right? Look, this is another opportunity for us to come together as a team. We've got a lot of veterans in this room. We've also got a lot of younger players that have never experienced this before. So you're going up against another professional team. I remember back when I was in New England and we did this, I mean, it was competitive as hell. The one thing I remember was we had each other's back. We had each other's back. I thought, I didn't think it was supposed to rain today. That's good. These guys, it's like cold here for our guys. I'm gonna tell you this much. Virginia weather on pump fake. Yeah, if it looked like it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. Next period, it's one-on-ones against them. So let's start this thing off right, all right? Let's start off with a good tempo. Let's go get them, all right? This is good practice. We're going to have weather like this to have to play some games in, okay? All right, so let's get ready to compete, okay? So this is the last day, you know, last year we went against Denver, and, you know, the guys were pissed off at each other. They started chirping. Nothing, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. I mean, it just got broken up quick. But... Watch out! You gonna keep pushing that man like that? I do what I want to do, boy. What? I do the I want to do. Why? What happened? How about Garcon coming at you? Dude, I'm like, bro, you're you're maybe 112 pounds. You might stay the back. We got into it every year in Indy. He's always talking. Yesterday, tried to run the man over. What you expect him to do? Let's get the out of Richmond. 